Hi Pisces, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. Hope you're all doing well. Um, those of you that recently have subscribed, thank you. I deeply appreciate that. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please just hit that red subscribe, all notifications, so you know when I upload your readings, go live. Um, Aquarius, I do apologize for being late. I know it's I'm really late with the monthlies. And but I just had a lot of private readings to do. That's the truth. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising signs. Aquarius. 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 You know what, Sagittarius? Your cards are perfect. you guys heard that okay oh wow the star Aquarius that's you oh wow Queen of Pentacles Virgo Taurus Capricorn Knight of Wands Oh, the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Aquarius, if you or your husband have Earth in your chart, or both of you do, because uh, Aquarius, I do get the feeling that you have Earth in your chart. Some of you do. And, wow. Okay, the Chariot. Interesting. The King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Man. The Three of Swords. No. The Knight of Pentacles. Or, I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups. I don't know why I said the Knight of Pentacles. If the overall energy is that, I'll, I'll just probably die. Wow, the Death card, sign of Scorpio. My goodness, what's at the bottom? Justice. I mean, this could be like legal contract. Uh, some of you could be signing some kind of legal documents. I also feel for some, I also do feel for some of you, some kind of fairness coming through for you. For others of you, things could definitely be balancing out for you. Uh, your overall energy is death, sign of Scorpio, but this also represents endings and new beginnings. You know, you're, you're creating that space for something or someone new to come in. For others of you in your life, it's it's changing for the better. 
Like, some of you are going through big changes, but I really feel like for some of you, you're going through changes with the Three of Swords. And I do feel like for some of you, something just did not work out in your favor. Like, in the past, you know, there could have been some kind of disappointment. But with justice, I really feel like things are being made fair. Or you just feel like things are just really being made fair. Or the right opportunity or an offer that's coming in for you. And my God, you're starting out with this star. I mean, this is getting your hopes, your wishes, very spiritual energy. And, you know, if if you're an Aquarius woman with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in your chart, and you also have the King of Pentacles here, so some of you are going through big changes. You know, but the star is a sign that you're on the right path. Like you're in the driver's seat with the chariot. The son of Cancer with the chariot. Some of you might have a decision that you need to make. You know, marrying the chariot, you do have the Knight of Cups. And I did mention before that some of you have an offer or an opportunity that's coming in for you. But with the chariot, you could go wherever it is that you want to go. For some of you, it's, it is right toward your wishes and your dreams, some of you need to stay positive, you know, and, and, and just, I mean, you're going to go through these big changes, have faith. And the chariot is the ultimate victory and success card. You know, this could be where family, friends, and you also have the king of swords. So you have two kings in this reading. The King of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, most likely Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. I mean, this could be your, you know, your spouse, your partner. For those of, the, of you that, you know, have a legal matter going on. And it's been like ongoing. This could be your attorney is contacting you with the Three of Swords, Knight of Cups. It's possible you were offered, offered a settlement of some kind and maybe it wasn't enough. You know, with justice here, uh, I forgot, almost forgot about justice. It could be like now, you know, things are a more fair offer that's coming in for you. You know, so maybe you even declined an offer in the past. And now you have, you have a much better offer that's coming through. If this isn't already happening, it's going to happen. Well, maybe you declined an offer in the past and now you have a better offer that's coming through. And that's allowing this big change. You definitely have news communication that's coming in and it really is allowing for you to move forward and for things to really start happening. 
uh, with the Knight of Wands, uh, things could be happening very quickly, suddenly, you know, but things are definitely starting to happen. Uh, things are starting to move forward. With the King of Pentacles, some of you could be excited about this. You know, I think some of you are excited to move forward in some way. Like you're ready for this big change. And I feel like it's very exciting time for you. If you're changing jobs... And those of you that it's love, with the Three of Swords here, it definitely could have represented a third-party situation. You have the Queen of Pentacles and these two kings. You know, especially if you're female, you could probably have two men around you. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And you have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands. I mean, there could be an offer, an opportunity, a proposal, some kind that's coming in, news that's coming in, and it's really going to really excite you. Some of you are going to have to make a decision. Definitely. You know, and it's going to be you. It's going to be you that needs to make this decision as to whether or not you want to accept this offer or opportunity from this person. Some of you could be ending a relationship with one person and jumping right into a new relationship. Which I feel uh, is... a. You, Aquarius, I feel like you're the one that's bringing the wishes and the dreams come true. And and you're on the right path with the star. That's your card. It was the first card out. I mean, that's you. All you. The chariot, there's a lot of success. You know, you're in the you're in the driver's seat, Aquarius. You are. I don't care. It doesn't matter if you have cancer in your in your chart or not. You're the one that's in the driver's seat. You're in control. And with the Knight of Cups, this definitely could be someone from the past, or definitely someone that you already know. Not necessarily someone new. I just don't feel that it's someone new. This is always someone from the past that's coming in. Some of you could be traveling to see this person, vice versa, them, you. But definitely some of you are ending a relationship and jumping right into a new one. With somebody that you already know. You already know this person, or it's someone from the past. You have, you're the one that has a decision to make. You know, there's two men, two. All right, this is the after tarot. What comes next? Okay. All right. Well, let's definitely look at. These kings, king of pentacles. King of 
pitfalls. King of Sword. Okay. Ah, uh, there is a three party situation going on. And it's this Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Oh my god, you're dealing with a Gemini? So, this air sign, Libra Gemini Aquarius, is a Gemini. I could be making a decision. I don't think it's you. I think it's this Gemini. do have exciting news communication you have a lot of communication coming in a real lot but the page of wands whatever this is it's going to be exciting really exciting especially if this person's ending their, their relationship and staying with you and it looks like they are Aquarius I hope this reading was helpful if not watch your other signs um, I am going to pull one more card on this ace or this star. Oh my god, as soon as I said that, that split out. Oh wow, it's definitely a new beginning. In some way, your wishes and dreams really are coming true. They really are Aquarius. And if it was a third party situation, you're the you're the one that they're choosing. Especially if you're dealing with a Gemini. Or, you know, an air sign with Gemini in their chart. It's great, Gemini, really, or Aquarius. I love it. I love you guys, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye.